This pick is made possible by our friends over at Manscaped. Yeah, Jimmy's pointing to that link there. Head over to manscaped.com slash chat. That'll save you 20% and get free shipping. This pick is for the Golden State Warriors at number 48 overall. And they are going with Nico Mannion, who is one of your top players left on the board, Jimmy, out of Arizona. 33 overall for you. He goes 48th here. What do you think? Man, good for Golden State. They get a backup playmaker that can come in and contribute right away. He definitely has his downsides. He's not a great defender. He didn't shoot the ball incredibly well in his only year at Arizona. He's the guy that, you know, you look at Arizona, they had Zeke Naji and Josh Green both go in the first round, and this is the kid, Nico Mannion, that coming out of high school everybody was talking about. Well, mm. he takes a little bit of a step back. But I think this is a perfect fit for the Golden State Warriors because their only other real backup point guard is Kai Bowman out of Boston College from last year. Yeah, he's a solid player, but Nico Mannion has a much higher ceiling. If this dude pans out, I like this pick a lot. And another thing with the Warriors here, and now what really changes for them, they're missing a guard in Klay Thompson. So they go out and get a guard yeah. in Nico Mannion. Now, Klay and Nico obviously play two different, different guard guards. positions, but with Klay Thompson potentially suffering a really serious injury, mm -hmm. Taking Nico Mannion might be a smart pick for them at uh, at 48, a guy that I had valued at 33. As a reminder, the updates here on Clay Thompson. Injured during a workout and the reports, as we mentioned earlier this evening, it is feared to be a serious Achilles injury. MRI is forthcoming tomorrow on Thursday, or I guess even today, depending on when you're actually watching this video. Does not sound good for Clay and a major blow to the Golden State Warriors. So we'll see what happens there, but things do not look particularly good for Golden State and for Clay Thompson. But Nico Mannion is the pick here at 48. Jimmy, grade it for me. A, B, C, D, or F. You know, as good as a, a second round can be, this is an A, a pick for me. Um, he's available. He has very high ceiling. He has great playmaking ability. He's just an incredible passer. And plus... Some of the best hair game in the draft this year. The Red Mamba, Nico Mannion, coming out at 48. Third Arizona player picked tonight by Josh Green and Zeke Naji. I kind of thought he might get picked before Zeke Naji, but obviously not the case. Mm -hmm. And Golden State fills a need. Backup guard, check. Nico Mannion, that's your next man up. Earlier tonight, we asked you guys to go visit manscaped.com slash chat. And if a 1,000 people did it, we were going to do another giveaway. Well, you guys did it. So here's how you guys can be eligible to claim this last giveaway from our friends over at Manscaped. Go to Manscaped's Instagram and tag at chat sports on their most recent Instagram post. So Manscaped on Instagram. We'll get that link in there for you guys here in the live chat. That's Manscaped on Instagram. And then tag us at chat sports in that most recent post. And then we'll let you guys know who won that one. So again, Instagram, it's at Manscaped. Tagged us, at Chat Sports. That is how you are eligible to win the, the most recent Manscaped giveaway here. We asked for a thousand people to go visit it, and we got there. So we're adding another giveaway for you guys with our friends over at Manscaped. More analysis here in Studio B for this Golden State Warriors selection. Harrison Graham here on our Golden State Warriors YouTube channel. Nico Mannion is the selection with the number 48 overall pick. The Warriors did make a selection a few minutes after. We'll get into that pick in just a moment. But first on Mannion, I, I like the upside here. I think there are, you're talking about a good athlete at the point guard position, really can get to the basket and score the basketball uh, and can give you some punch off that bench. If you are Golden State, over 14 points per game at Arizona, uh, dished out over five assists. Not a great pure shooter. Definitely a volume scorer at Arizona. He's going to have to improve his efficiency in the NBA. But late in the second round, a guy that many thought would go in round one. I think this is really good value for the Golden State Warriors in round two. I think you can feel pretty good about this pick if you are Golden State. So uh, Nico Mannion goes number 48 overall to the Golden State Warriors here in the second round of the NBA draft. Grade the pick for me, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll go A- minus here. I think at 48 overall, Nico Mannion is an excellent, excellent selection here. You're talking about a guy who was, uh, let's see here, We're trying to pull it up here. Oh, he was a top uh, top 40 player, I believe, on, uh, on Jimmy's board here. 
uh, number 33 overall. So you're talking about a fringe first round talent and you get him at 48 overall. I think that is excellent, excellent value uh, for Nico Mannion if you are the uh, Golden State Warriors. I think you can feel really good about that overall. And uh, this is a guy who, again, I think is a guy who can uh, come off your bench and give you some scoring. Get seven to ten points off the bench. And now with Clay Thompson being injured, too, uh, if you guys missed that news, uh, Warriors fear it's a torn Achilles. We'll see the MRI results tomorrow. But Nico Mannion can give you another scoring option from uh, the guard position, which is very, very good overall and a very good thing for the Golden State Warriors. And they might need it if Clay Thompson is out. If he's out for sure, we'll have it covered here on a Golden State Warriors today. So hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications because we covered the draft tonight. We got free agency coming up. We'll cover the latest injury news. Regardless of what happens, we're going to cover it here on Golden State Warriors today. So hit that big red subscribe button and uh, join it. Join our brand new Golden State Warriors channel. We are growing like crazy already. So don't miss any of it here on Golden State Warriors today. Now, the other pick at pick number 51 overall, Justinian Jessup and Jimmy Crowther literally did no homework on this guy. So I pulled up a quick analysis on him. 6'7", 202 pounds out of Boise State. He was considered a fringe second round prospect uh, type. Does have some shooting ability. So as a, as a, you know, as a guy who can stretch the floor, has good height there. It's 6'7", is what he is listed at. So 6'7", 202 uh, is what I'm seeing his official listing at. Don't have any uh, numbers on him for you guys on screen, but Jessup playing uh, in the Mountain West, uh, good shooter, shot uh, around 41% in his career from three-point range. So you get a guy who can space the floor, probably a G League candidate at first. I think Mannion potentially has a chance to be in your rotation right away, but Jessup uh, I think is a guy who could come in and potentially uh, be a rotation player. Uh, down the road, first of all in the G League, needs to put on weight, only 200 pounds, needs to get up to probably about 220 at six foot seven. But I think this is a guy uh, that can develop and can grow in the G League. And we saw last year a lot of the young guys the Warriors had to play in the NBA that were really G League players really, really improved. And now Jessup can probably, uh, you know, get to improve in the G League, which is really what you want. You don't want to force a guy uh, into an NBA rotation if he is not. Ready. So Mannion and Jessup are the picks. Free agency set to begin uh, just in a couple of days on Friday. So uh, we're going to have you guys covered here on Golden State Warriors today. Who do you guys want to sign in free agency? Let me know, Warriors fans. Who do you want to go out and get? I've seen Paul Millsap linked to Golden State quite a bit. Uh, if you want him, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I definitely think it'll be interesting to see what direction uh, the Golden State Warriors do go in because you look at this roster right now before we sign off here on Golden State Warriors today, there's question marks. With Clay Thompson injured, you've got to figure some things out. If he is out for the season, which that's the fear that it's a torn Achilles, we'll know again officially tomorrow, but uh, you've got a void to fill there. Uh, you haven't filled that in the draft. James Wiseman's going to be your center, which is a very good thing here. Nico Mannion could be a rotation player. We're in full start of the two. I'd rather go sign someone in free agency, go get a shooter in here, so we'll wait and see what happens. I can promise you this. We will cover it here on Golden State Warriors today. So that is another reason to subscribe. Nico Mannion and Justinian Jessup are the two draft picks in round two. Subscribe so you never, ever miss any coverage here on our Warriors channel.